Kimberly Brooks, the voice of Ashley. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm actually really excited because I don't want to tell Allie or anybody else this, but Ashley's been my girl since the beginning. All right. Thank you. Thank you for not getting rid of her. Hell no. <laughs> Dude, it was, the choice wasn't even like, it was like, come on, really? Caden, Ashley, ooh, gee. Don't, I wasn't going to say that when I interviewed Raphael, but you know. There's, Truth be told, know, yeah. come on. Don't it, tell it was like Raphael. hesitation don't. for like two seconds. Uh, <laughs> that guy. Yeah, there's some magic there between us. There's total magic. There's some serious chef Ashley love, I think. Totally agree. <laughs> now, what kind of, um, you know, what, what goes into the character of Ashley? Like, what, what, what do you personally can say, you know what, I got to put that into the character? Um, well, she's a very complex character. She's tough as nails. You know, she likes to follow the rules. She's dedicated to the cause, but she's also a woman. And um, so I think I like, got to play, uh, liked playing both, both angles of that character that way. Now we've seen kind of Ashley progress through from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3, without giving any spoilers. There's no yes. spoiler show. No spoilers. But she's in a, a much higher place. Yes. So uh, was it Very zen. different to be she in that? She does yoga now. Of, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> was, it, uh, was it different to kind of, did you have to give a little bit more authority to the voice now that she's in sort of more of a, a power role? Yeah, I think um, she's a little bit tougher, um, a little bit more of that military feel, um, but Pretty much, she's, she's the same. She's just evolved in such a really nice way. And I love what they've done with the character. Did you draw any inspiration for Ashley from, you know, whether it be family members or, or personal personality traits that you have or movies or? Um, yeah, you know what? My brother's a Marine. Oh, and well, so that helps. <laughs> I maybe I, I drew a little inspiration from him. <laughs> All right. And, and how kind of. When you, I've asked, you asked everybody this question, because I'm actually curious, and this is the final, you know, this is Mass Effect 3, the, uh, the, big, the game. big event, right? Yeah. So when you started working on Mass Effect 1 as Ashley Williams, did you ever realize and could, did you ever fathom it blowing up to be such a big deal where people would be standing outside waiting I, to play this game? I had no idea of the love, but it is awesome. Um, it's turned into such a, just a huge, game people are really involved and um, just have followed these characters for so long that it's like they're real it's really it's just really cool why do you think it has such a strong following um, I think the writing is excellent and the characters are and the voice acting and the well that goes without saying the voice <laughs> acting but um, I think the characters are just really um, complex and deep and just makes the game so much more interesting and just characters that you can follow and it's, uh, it's really awesome. All right. Well, do you want to say anything to the fans? Um, hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for just making this game so incredibly popular. And I hope you like ME3. I can't wait to play it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank really you. appreciate you coming out tonight. Thanks a lot. Woo! Kimberly Brooks, everybody. The voice of Ashley Williams. Thank you. And filling out, finally out, the voice actress trifecta. We have the voice of the doctor herself, Liara Tassoni. Big fans here in Los Angeles for Liara. Allie Hello. Hillis, welcome back. Thank you, I'm feeling the love. There is a lot of love here. Been taking pictures all night. Really, tweeting yeah. and all that? Tweeting, tweeting a lot. Everybody out there on Twitter, at Miss Ali Hillis. There you go. Yes, I think we're friends on Twitter, right? Of course we are. I follow him. I follow her. He better. <laughs> okay, so what's it feel like to be sitting here kind of right before Mass Effect 3 launching? You know, you've been a pivotal role in all three games. Anticipation. I'm hot with anticipation. Nice. <laughs> now, you've done several different roles. Actually, I, I hadn't known. I was doing, I did some research. I prepped oh, for this interview. Wow. Oh, I did I'm not realize tweeted. that you were the voice of Lightning in Final Fantasy. I was. I certainly was. Pink hair there, blue here. There you go. I change colors a lot. So, how is the role of Liara different than, say, you know, Lightning? Um, well, the games are very different, first of all. Of course, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have played. Final Fantasy as well. I mean, both RPGs, but very, very different in style. Um, it, you know, to compare the two is almost like it's impossible, really, to compare is, the two. Is the voice <laughs> acting process different? 
Um, it is actually because in Final Fantasy the game's already been done in Japanese. So I get to see the artwork mm, fairly finished by the time I voice it and I also get to hear it in Japanese. So that's pretty cool. Whereas here with Mass Effect, you know, we're kind of flying blind and Caroline does a great job of directing us and, and letting us know what she's seen in the motion capture before we get to voice it. But for the most part, she really has to walk us carefully through each scene and each scenario um, in order to put us into the really specific place emotionally and physically where the, the character should be and help us to voice it. it it's, not, it's definitely a bit more of a challenge, but I really, really enjoy the creativity of, of just exploring completely in the imagination and, and not having the visual out there. So, no pressure, <laughs> oh but God. of all the characters you've done, what's your favorite? Liara Tassoni. <laughs> Was that the right answer? There is no right or wrong answer, but that was a good answer. So why Liara? I love my Liara. Um, Liara is multifaceted, and I think as everyone has experienced, because I know that everyone does romance Liara, right? Clearly. I don't think there's any other choice in the matter. Um, but uh, I really love playing Liara because I've really enjoyed her changes throughout the games. And for those who haven't played, yet all of the games, you've got to play. Um, I don't want to give anything away, but it's been really cool to go from the sort of more, um, not calculating, but analytical Asari Liara into something just a bit more human along the way, I think. She totally. starts to experience more emotion. Now, is it hard kind of keeping all these voice characters like <laughs> kind of like remembering, like, you know, you, you walk in there, it's like, okay, here's Liara, and this is a different character, and this is a different character. Like, how do you keep it all straight? That's a really good question. Um, Thank you. I think we all, I know, good job. You're getting, he's getting really good at this. <laughs> um, I think we sort of snap into it, you know? The directors, we walk in the booth, and, and different games are recorded in different studios, some in the same, but um, the directors pretty much just snap us into into the character that we're playing. And like Liara, who I've gotten to know so well, so well, um, I'm kind of hoping they spin off a game. You know, Liara and the Asari. I can rebuild my world, people, come on. Uh, I agree, there definitely needs right? to be a spin off game. I'm gonna miss game. her a whole lot. Now, you've done on-camera work, you've mm -hmm. done voiceover work, which do you prefer and why? <laughs> That's a hard question. Um, I don't... Well, how are they different? How are they different? Uh, I, I, I love all of them because I just, I like my life to be exciting. I love variety. Uh, I love when one day I'm shooting a television show and the next day I'm in the booth recording Liara. Um, the reason I love voiceover is because it doesn't matter what we look like. Obviously, I'm not blue. Well, not on a regular basis. I, I paint myself blue, you know, as we Who spoke doesn't? about before. Yeah, of course. At least I, I need to get into the character, so body paint. Don't picture that. Actually do. Whatever you want. Um, but uh, voiceover is just amazing because it's, you can be whoever you want to be behind the microphone. And when people ask me, how do I get into voiceover? You know, what is it like to be a voiceover artist? I just say, you know, you have to be an actor first. It's not about the voice. It's about the character you're playing, which is one of the reasons I love the Mass Effect series and the characters that BioWare created because they're, they're so real on so many levels that it's really fun to play them. All right. Well... Ali, is there anything you want to say to the fans who have been with you since day one and have romanced um, you? Uh, like that guy you. back there? Like that one guy. <laughs> I got one guy. <laughs> Two, three, What do you four. want to say to those three people? I got a lot people. of guys. Oh, I think to everybody out there who's played this Mass Effect series from the start and who's been very loyal to Liara, I just want to say in a very heartfelt way, thank you, Commander. I will miss you. There you go. <laughs> Allie Hillis, thank you so much. Thank you, David. You're wonderful. Really appreciate it. All right. So that is... Uh, Liara, obviously a crowd favorite here at um, the Bioware Mass Effect 3 launch event.